I'm Tony Akose Ogobegu. Today, I'd like to share a passage of the scriptures with us from the book of Galatians. Chapter 3, verse 10. For as many as are of the work of the law are under the curse, for it is written, Cursed is everyone who does not continue in all things which are written in the book of the law to do them. The point is in consistency in doing the work of the law, the work required of the law. So we ask, what is the work required of the law? Readily coming to mind is the Ten Commandments. God gave Israel a set of rules that are called the commandments by which they will stand justified if they kept all. But James said, if you fail in one of these laws, it's as good as failing everything. So let's examine a few of those commandments that God required the Israelites to live by and be justified by. Thou shalt not have any other God besides me. Question number one, do you have another God? Do you have anything that you exalt above God in your life? Let your heart check. If there is, that is idolatry. You've transgressed the first law. Another one, God says, don't take my name in vain. Do you use the name of the Lord in vain? Do you profane that holy name by which man can be saved? If you have used God's word, God's name, in vain, you have transgressed the law. You are condemned by it. Another one. The Bible says, you shall not commit adultery. And then somebody says, God, I am free there. But listen to Jesus. If you think lustfully in your heart towards a woman or a man, you have committed adultery in your heart. Is your heart pure of lustful thoughts at one point or the other? And I hear you say, well, I'm human. It comes, you know, it flips and that's the point. You see, you are guilty in the place that God is looking at the heart. Another one, God says, thou shalt not steal. Have you taken something that you know doesn't belong to you sometime? Thou shalt not lie. Have you ever lied? How are you saying I'm only human? I understand. You see, Jesus said with man, this is impossible. How true. But with God, all things are possible. God seeing our weakness, our fallen state, decided to provide a solution to our sin malady. He sent his son. And he lived a pure, holy, sinless life. And that qualified him to be our substitute for sin. And on the cross, he was crucified for you and I. So that he became the end of the law for anyone who will believe. What that means is that if you believe in Jesus Christ, you will no more be judged by how well you have performed with the Ten Commandments. No, it will not more be the standard for judging you because when God looks at you, he will see Jesus' perfect fulfillment of every single law that he gave. You can ride on that record and you'll be saved. My friend, if you will trust Jesus today, he will save you. This is the truth.
God bless you.